Our cameras on one man. A hat trick in his last game. Will he prosper once more? We'll have the action on EA TV. Hello to you, wherever you happen to be. Our action comes to you today from Villa Park. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry, and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And at this special time of year, we come bearing the gift of football for you. It's Aston Villa, and they face Bournemouth. Yeah, that's all right, Derek, but where's my gift from you? Well, sorry, Stuart. There are those who think my middle name is Ebenezer. That's about right, but as a football fan, I love these festive fixtures. There's always a great buzz around the ground. And here's the starting 11 for Aston Villa. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated, and it could be difficult for them. And the starting 11 for Bournemouth. Well, no surprise, really. They're matching up here, but there are many different ways they can approach this game. And I just think they'll be cautious today, certainly early on. Thank you, Villa Park. Enjoy the game. And now they get the ball rolling. Jefferson Lerma. Philip Billing. On the ball, Chavez. Traore. And they could really get at the opposition. And it might be, in it goes! That will do nicely for starters, first goal of the game. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. Standing at 1 0. Might be able to get in behind the defence. And really pressing their opponents. Plenty of support here. Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. Young on to McGinn well slightly off target and that'll be a throw in Vigna Zabani is with Vigna from what I'm hearing, there's been a goal in the Fulham match. Over to Alex for the details. Yep, it's a goal for Everton. It's now 1-0 with 13 minutes played. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. Oh, good vision. And he's in the clear. Wonderful chance. He's blocked it. Philip Billing. 
And an astute piece of defending. Ashley Young. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. Ollie Watkins moving into the advanced position. But quick thinking defensively. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Lerma. Determined defending. And I'm hearing that something has happened in the City game. Let's hear all about it from Alex. It's a goal from Manchester City. It's now 1-0 with 23 minutes played. What a game we have here, Derek. Many thanks as ever, Alex. It has to be. Oh, a moment of pure class. Had to catch it perfectly and didn't he just. Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect. And what a great finish it is. Struck with power and accuracy. Certainly no stopping that. And the ball is moving again. 2-0 as how it stands. Moreno. Well, Bournemouth, as you can see, have enjoyed so much of the possession and as a result have dominated the game. Some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch and I don't think anything's going to change that. Right, time to send it over to Alex because I believe there's been a goal at the Emirates Stadium. It's a goal for Brighton. It was a breathtaking finish. A shot from such a long way out. I think it totally surprised the goalkeeper. They're back level. It's 1-0 with 28 minutes on the clock. Many thanks, Alex. Played into the centre. Not a bit short with the clearance. Now just the tackle that was needed. Ramsey has it. Buendia. Watkins. Ball's gone. Billing. Will it be? Wonderful challenge. But the chance is still on. And the goal kick is the outcome. Not to give an honest appraisal of his performance. Doesn't look as though he's really been at it, Stuart. But he's been poor today. He hasn't got on the ball enough. He's given it away cheaply, and he's been outplayed. That's the main reason why they're losing at the moment. Well, half-time almost upon us, and playing away from home isn't bothering them in the slightest. Stuart, how about your take? Well, they've played some really good football up to now. In particular, the way they've got it into their front players has been excellent. I've also liked the movement of the strikers. They just now need to take this forward into the second half. Take it away. Emiliano Buendia. Well, racing past his man. Well, defending always has to be a team effort. Good piece of covering. Well, let's go to Alex Scott now because something has happened in the Liverpool game. Alex. It's a goal for Chelsea. It's now 1-0 with 43 minutes played. Thanks for the update, Alex. This might be ideal for the counter. They need to get bodies back. And the cross into the middle. And they have possession again. McGinn so that will be all for the first half and the home side know they've got to show an improvement in the second 45 
So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. And a yellow card, it's going to be Stewart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Clean challenge. Well, no stopping him. Right, let's join Alex Scott, shall we? Because there's been news of a goal in the Fulham match. Opportunity it is. And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. rather comfortable for them 3-0 and apologies to our viewers for having to interrupt Alex just then just to confirm Everton did score in that match and their advantage at the moment stands at 2-0 can he find the right pass vital interception the danger was very real and we very much hope you'll join us for more live Premier League action on EA TV it's Aston Villa facing Southampton. I'm really looking forward to that. Two entertaining teams in what should be a really feisty affair. Well, straight at the goalkeeper then. Lewis. And showing fine vision. Well, even marginally offside is still against the law. Yeah, and he just needed to hold his run for a fraction longer and he would have been in on goal. Watkins. Good visualisation and execution. Well, that cross was more than acceptable, but they couldn't fire at home. Breaking at pace. Nicely timed tackle. And we very much hope you'll join us for more live Premier League action on EA TV. It's Bournemouth facing Wolves. Well, the fixtures are coming thick and fast. It should be a good game, that. Hopefully, I've not just given it the commentator's curse. Oh, good work by the keeper. And they will make the change now. And there's the delivery. And cleared off the line. High-class defending right on the goal line. Well, for good measure, we can see it again, but clearly not over the line. Can be no debate over that decision. Things have changed at Craven Cottage. Let's get the news from Alex Scott. They're ahead by three now with 65 minutes played. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. Lewis. It is a decent looking attack here. And he read it well. Ramsey. Ollie Watkins. Aguilar. Oh, managing to beat him. And the keeper more than he... And a penalty awarded. Spot kick coming up. And he left the referee with no choice but to dismiss him. Well, it's a double whammy. That's a huge blow for them. Thank you. 
And with play stop, they will make the change now. Well, they fancy a short one. Buendia. And blocked for now. Traore. Oh, breezing past him. And still pressing. And able to get a body in the way. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Bailey. The referee has given a corner. Playing it short. Veering in field here. Oh, fine stop. Now sending it in. And he clears the danger. Right, let's join Alex Scott, shall we? Because there's been news of a goal in the Fulham match. It's now 4 0 with 79. Sorry to jump in. It could be on for them here. Keeper getting the touch. And it looks so threatening, but the danger averted. Well, Alex was in full flight. Alas, we had to cut her off just moments ago. To confirm, Everton did find the net in that game. And they are very much in the driving seat, winning 4 0. Will it be? Well, as you can see, they finished this really easily. They don't give the keeper a chance, do they? That's a good goal. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. He read the situation defensively and did his job. And someone has found the net in the Arsenal match. Let's hear all about it from Alex. Yep, a second goal for the Gunners. They've pulled one back and now trail by one with 86 minutes played. I'm really enjoying this one, Derek. Alex, thank you very much. Pressing high and they have the ball again. Jefferson Lerma. Yusufa Mukoko. Brooks Mukoko quite possibly a yellow card as the flow was stopped well deemed to have been a cautionable offence well, no question about it he deserved his book in there and a shot from some way out and gobbled up with ease by the keeper Aguilar. Buendia. It's with Camara. Camara. Just not looking confident in possession. And there goes the final whistle. A positive result from a Bournemouth perspective. How would you sum it up? Well, Derek, they were the better team all over the pitch. We saw good individual performances. We saw an attack which was always threatening, and they played really well. What a performance that was today.